Welcome back to my channel. Okay, this morning we've already fried our bacon. So that's going to be the last thing we add because we want the bacon to be crispy. A lot of times if you add it beforehand, it won't be crispy. What we're doing is we're just going to make some eggs this morning um, on top of the stove. An omelet, but on top of the stove. Instead of the egg bake in the stove, we're going to make it on top of the stove. We're using a red onion. We're using... Um, Problano and red peppers. We've already used our handy uh, chopper and chopped them up real fine. And of course, eggs and hash browns and the beef sausage. Okay, and we're just going to finish preparing out the um, ingredients that we have. I'm going to go ahead and cut up this um, beef sausage. We can just take one whole one of these and that should be enough. And then we're just going to take this. You're going to cut it down the middle, of course. And you do want to use the skinless because you don't want the sausage to be tough. Okay? So skinless is always better. This keeps from being tough. And you're just going to cut that into fours. Okay? After you cut that into fours, then you're going to start slicing it. Okay? And as you can tell, we're going to cook this sausage first because I like to get a burn on the sausage or the bacon or whatever I'm going to add to my egg bake, whether it be in the stove or on top of the stove. I like it to have that burn element. And I, I think you all know what I mean by that. Okay. We have saved the grease from our bacon. We're going to go ahead and stick some onions in that. Okay, I'm going to put this sausage up there. So get that sausage going before we add. Before you add your eggs, you want to get everything to have like a little burn on it beforehand. I just think it brings the flavor and the meat out better when you, like I said, put that little burn on it before you're adding your eggs. Okay, so you just turn that around in there and getting that hot. Okay. Getting that, getting the burn on that sausage, like I said. Okay. Go ahead and add some of these green peppers, green and red peppers. We're gonna slowly add our ingredients we have prepared. And like I said, we're not gonna add those eggs until last. But we are adding our other ingredients. At this point. Okay. So we use probably a third of a poblano, a large size poblano pepper, and a third of a red pepper. And then we got these simply potatoes, hash browns. Let's open those up. And we're not even adding these yet. Once you add these potatoes, you're going to add a little bit more oil. Because this right here, that little bit of oil is not going to be enough to fry those potatoes. And like I said, the eggs are going to get added last because we still want uh, um, a crispiness about everything else, you know. Okay. Now we're going to get down. And we've got our oil ready for when we get ready to add these. And we're just going to take our time adding these just a little bit at a time. See that? Just a little bit at a time. We're going to add those potatoes in. Okay, you see that? We've covered that up. Go ahead. And that was a whole package of that. So I guess that's probably about two, three cups of your shredded potatoes. And I use that because I made it a lot easier to... Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to add some grapeseed oil to this. Well, you might want to open her up or you won't get no oil out of it. 
And well, we have not successfully opened the top yet. So there we go. Now we're getting it open. Okay. And we're just going to add maybe a half a cup of oil to this and start stirring that around. Okay, see that? All righty, get that mixing around so that we can get a little burn on those potatoes also. Okay. That's the one thing I miss from making my egg bake where I'm cooking it in the oven is you don't have any crispiness to your potatoes. Or you at least don't have that, that, I don't know what else to call it, but that burn flavor. Not burn as in burn up, but burn as in the fried qualities of the sausage and all of that. That flavor is just different. It is, it's really a different flavor. Okay. Okay, that is smelling really good. But I am going to take a little, let's see, where is our I am going to use a little bit of black pepper. Black pepper always takes your potatoes up. I'm going to use that, and then I'm going to use a little of this, um, slap your mama, Cajun season. No, no, I'll take that back. We're going to use some of this to see how that turns out in it. Yeah, I like the coloring on that. I like the coloring on that. So I think the flavor will be real nice and something different, okay? So we're going to put that on in there. Okay. Now, you don't want to add too much seasoning because you got a lot of um, vegetables that are going to add to the flavoring. But you don't want to add a lot of uh, content that's going to make it have a, a salt content to it. Okay, so now we're at the point where I think we're ready to add our bacon and all you're going to do is take that bacon that you've already cooked and you're just going to crumble it up in there break it up in there so that it'll be all around okay okay you got that and that's all we're doing is adding that bacon to it like i said we're just going to crumble it up and the bacon's already been cooked so it's crispy and that's how I want you to make sure you cook it crispy, okay? And now we're going to fold this over. Now, for those of you who don't care for eggs, you're pretty much done. But those of you who want the egg factor to it, it's almost time to add those bad boys. We're almost there, okay? See how that's looking? Learn to know what you're cooking and how you're cooking by looking at it. Okay. All right, now. Let's get those eggs out and get them going. Okay. I'm going to add at least four eggs to this. You can do it in the center, wherever you want to do it at. It doesn't matter. Because eventually it's all going to mix up, okay? But do be mindful to turn that down a little bit to give you a little time because you don't want to burn. All righty, here we go. And you bust those yolks and you're just going to start mixing that around in there. Yeah, there you go. You see that? Mixing that around. You start seeing that white come. You know that egg is cooking. Okay? And we're just cooking that egg. Doesn't have to be mixed up perfectly. 
I tend to like it when I don't beat them too well together. Alrighty. And we're just getting all that cooked. Okay, you see that? Turn that back up a little bit. Now, if you need to add some more oil, you can. Okay? Remember, we're using grapeseed oil. That's a good oil for you. That's not a bad oil. So that's not going to be an issue, okay? There we go. And this is pretty much done. Now, you can cook this as hard or as soft as you like it. Everything's to a preference. Okay? Now... While that's cooking a little more, wash my hands. Now I'm just going to plug up this bed with toaster so that we can stick our waffles in here. And this will be ready to plate in a very few minutes. As soon as those waffles are done, this is going to be ready to plate up. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Now, at this point, you know, even though we added our bacon and everything, at this point, you can also add a little spinach. I don't have any, but I just thought about it, and I said, I bet you that'd be nice with some spinach in that, too. Okay, so that's another option for you, that you could put some spinach in it and take the nutritional value up. You know, we're always interested in taking that nutritional value up on anything that we're cooking. You know, that's another creative way to encourage your kids to eat something that's going to be good for them and good to them. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Oh, yeah. That's quite lovely right there. And you can serve this on toast, pancakes, or what we're going to do, and we're doing waffles. I'm going to get me a plate out of here. And get prepared for those to jump out so that we can get this plated up. Let's keep stirring that because you don't want it to burn. Look at that. Oh, lovely. That's just lovely. Yeah, we're liking that. Yeah, that is beautiful. All right. Okay, those waffles are out. I'm gonna put those on the plate and just take this. I'm gonna put that right in the center of that. Now you can use those waffles like a bread, make a sandwich. Make sure you turn that off. And all you need is your syrup. And you just take and pour that syrup. Wait a minute. Take and pour that syrup right over top of it. There you go. Look at that. Now that is going to be delicious. Try that out. See how you like it. Add maybe some spinach to yours or something else that's your favorite. Thanks for watching. Have a great breakfast. Bye-bye.